Fairlex, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm sitting at my kitchen table because we are about to eat. I feel like I'm about to do an interview, but I figured I'll be polite. I sit at the kitchen table whilst I'm eating my lunch and uh, not standing up where I normally film because that would be weird. But I thought today it would be really fun to try the Hungry Jack's new Rebel Whopper, which is a fully plant-based protein burger. I know this isn't sponsored. I've just been wanting to try it and I figured it would be fun to try it in a video. But because I didn't want to make this video boring and me literally just eating this in like 2.5 seconds and then being like, bye, I thought I would answer some questions so I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions for me and I'm gonna answer them whilst I'm eating I'll probably finish this before I finish answering the questions but yeah I just thought that would be really fun so if you guys are excited for this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of my future videos and if you're wondering why I'm distracted it's because I have Theo down here wanting to try the Rebel Whopper as well so I have actually tried the regular Whopper before so I thought it would be fun to compare it to the vegan version and if it's just as good if not better i will definitely get that every time not that i get hungry jacks that often but you know if it's good then why not choose the plant-based version so yeah i thought it'd be really fun also if you're wondering why i'm slouching down so much it's because if i sit up i'm not in the frame so i get to slouch today let's just dive on in shall we oh also i got it on a low carb bun because i'm so healthy <laughs> um no basically just because i thought that would be fun to try as well so that's what it looks like. Oh, I have to try and get a thumbnail. How am I gonna do this? Okay, surely. All right. Got the Coke Zero. Let's try this. It honestly doesn't look very appetizing. I've tried Beyond Meat before, which is the meat that they use for this, I believe. I could be wrong, uh, but I haven't tried it in a Whopper version. Oh my God, hold on. There's an imposter. Oh. Anyone else not like tomato? I just can't do it. The only way I can eat it is in like really small diced up pieces. All right, let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. I need another bite. I mean, that's good. It's really yummy. I would definitely choose that over the regular one for sure. Like, why not? Tastes so similar. It's a sauce. It still tastes like the Whopper sauce. That's what the inside looks like, by the way. I mean, it doesn't look very appetizing, but it is. It tastes good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Let's answer some questions. I don't know how mukbangers, like, eat and talk the whole time. I mean, a lot of them just eat, but heaps of people tell, like, story times while they're eating. I just want to, like, shove my food down my face. Okay, so question number one is some of your biggest pet peeves. I feel like I actually have a lot, but I'm probably not going to be able to think of any. I hate when people put the toilet paper roll, like, it's hard to explain. So you have to have it in and then the, the toilet paper is coming over. If it's coming under, that just doesn't work. You're like going against the wall to pull it out. When it's hanging over, it's just there waiting for you, closer to you, if you know what I mean. Um, I hate when people are messy, especially my sister, if she's watching this. Like, her room will get trashed in a couple days. And I'm like, well, if you just put things back where you put, where you got them from, then you'd be fine. She doesn't close drawers. She'll pull something out of her drawer and just leave it open. I'm like, just close it. It looks so much neater. What else? That's literally all I can think of right now. I hate when people are rude to waitresses and waiters at restaurants. I feel like that says a lot about a person when they're not nice to people who are literally serving you your food. I'm always so polite because I feel so sorry for them that they have to be stuck there doing that. Anyways, that's all I can think of right now. There's probably way more. But question number two is what were your hobbies when you were younger? Um, oh, I need to eat. It's hard to think. It depends what like phase of my life I was in, like how old I was. Because when I was really young, I would love to like dress up and play outside with my friends. Mm -hmm. Um, I loved Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, so I loved playing those games. I definitely went through a Sims phase where I played Sims all the time. But just hanging out with my friends. As for sports, I did soccer for a while, gymnastics. I wasn't really ever a beach goer. That's probably it, just playing games with my friends. That was my absolute favorite thing to do. Mmm. 
It's actually so good. And the bun tastes fine too, but I'm actually gluten intolerant, so I'm used to um, gluten-free bread, even though that's not, but I'm used to like bread that doesn't taste as good as normal bread. So I'm eating gluten for this video. <laughs> the next question is professional spray tan or self tan. It depends what I'm doing it for. If it's for just like going out for dinner on the weekend and stuff like that, I'll probably just do it myself. But if it's for an event, I love getting a spray tan because they're always so much darker and they actually do last a lot longer. So yeah, I would probably say, oh well, both really. But if it's for just every day, probably just a self tan. Mm. I actually still taste good considering I drove all the way to Hunger Jacks to get it and then drove all the way home and it's not like super hot. It, it, it tastes just like me, like honestly. I should have had Ryan here and not told him that it wasn't just a regular wop. I just said I was doing a Hungry Jack's mukbang and seeing if he would tell the difference. I honestly don't think he would. I don't think anyone would. Next question is, if you had to pick one influencer slash YouTuber to watch for the rest of your life, who would it be? Um, I've really been loving Sarah's Day lately. I know she's a huge YouTuber, but I've only started watching her in the past couple of months. I listen to her podcast, I watch her videos, and I feel like she's just really inspiring and makes me feel positive and want to work hard. So I love watching her. But if it was forever, I feel like it'd have to be Shane Dawson because he puts so much effort into his videos. They're like TV series and he's so funny. Probably Shane Dawson. What makeup products can you absolutely not live without? Um, probably my Estee Lauder foundation, which some of you guys may have guessed because I've spoken about it like a hundred times. Mmm. Because that question is kind of different to like, if you could only wear one product for the rest of your life, what would it be? And that would probably be like, if I had my eyebrows tattooed, maybe under eye concealer, is that weird? But if it was just like my favorite product that I can't live without, it's definitely my Estee Lauder foundation. That stuff is just my holy grail. If you weren't doing Instagram, what would you be doing? Um, Probably personal training. I think that's what I would do because Outside of doing YouTube and all of, you know, the beauty and fashion things that I love, fitness is a huge part of my life and I feel like I would be really, really passionate about training other people and making them better themselves as well. So definitely personal training. And honestly, it's still on the cards for me. If I get older and I've had kids, but I still, because I, I kind of am like, I'm not Korean, well, I guess I am. I like to be busy. So maybe when I'm older and I've got like a few kids and still want to do something, I would probably definitely look into personal training. How often do you drink and what is your favorite alcoholic beverage? I probably drink like once a week, if that. I'll only ever go out once a week with my friends. And if I drink anything, it's usually just vodka, lime and soda. Do you want to just sit on my lap? So probably a vodka lime, lime and soda is definitely my go-to, but if I'm screwed myself a little bit, probably an amaretto sour or a um, Aperol spritz. Oh, yes. Those go down an absolute treat. Mm, 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 mm. I haven't really showed you guys up close. That's what the meat looks like. So good. Okay, the next question is, does being on YouTube or Instagram ever give you anxiety or anything? Yeah, short answer, yes, definitely. But it's mainly because I put a lot of pressure on myself and I wake up every day wanting to make myself proud. I make a huge list of things and if I don't do it, I'm so hard on myself and it's definitely something I'm working on because it really, um, it hinders my day-to-day -day life because I'm so stressed and I'm so worried about doing these things that I'm in like a little bubble of the things I have to do that I can't just enjoy the little things until everything's done. So in that fact, it definitely makes me anxious. It's just all the pressure that I put on myself. And even being in front of camera is really scary. You definitely get used to it, but I found myself sometimes before filming having to take deep breaths because I'm actually so nervous because I'm actually, well, I'm not an introverted person. I would call myself an introverted extrovert. I'm comfortable on my own and I'm quite shy in big groups unless I know everyone. So filming myself was definitely really hard and it gets easier. I think it depends what I'm doing, but I definitely still get nervous, which I guess is a good thing because 
I think stepping outside of your comfort zone is what gets you the furthest in life because staying in your comfort zone isn't going to get you anywhere really because you're not pushing yourself to do better things. It definitely makes me anxious, but it's worth it, obviously, because I have the best job in the world and I love it, so yeah. The next question is a bit of a random one. It is, would you rather your child be bullied or be the bully? And I think for sure, I would have to be the bully. Even though I would hate to bully people, I would just never want to put that on my child. And honestly, when I first read this question, I thought of Theo. I was like, I would hate to see him be bullied. So I would bully instead. So just imagine a child. So I would definitely have to be the bully, unfortunately. I'm gonna be a bully to you in a second if you don't shush. I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to try a little bit? How about that? Dog taste test. This is probably why he's so annoying when I'm eating food because he knows I'm just gonna give him some. Ooh. Can you see him? Was that so yum? Loves it. I bet he thinks it's a whopper. Mmm. Next question is my biggest fear, and I feel like that is easy, is definitely losing my family. 100%. Losing anyone that I love in my life, that would just destroy me. I've actually been thinking about it a lot lately, just like how lucky I am to have everyone that I love to be healthy and happy. Like, what the hell? Who gets that? It's so lucky that everyone, everyone that I care about is happy and healthy right now. And you just gotta try and embrace that. Not embrace it, is that the right word? Appreciate that. I've been thinking about that a lot lately, so definitely losing them would be my biggest fear. Mm -mm -mm. I thought I would still be hungry after just eating a burger for lunch, but I'm actually quite full. Mm. Yum! Quick verdict on the Rebel Whopper. Probably give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10. I would definitely order that instead of the normal Whopper. Like if I ever happen to get Hungry Jacks again, I'm just craving a Whopper. I'll get the Rebel Whopper. Rebel Whopper. Rebel Whopper for sure. Um, but the last question is, I may as well answer it because there's one more left. Uh, it is met any rude influences. I haven't thought about this. I don't think I actually have. I think everyone I've met has been really, really nice. At least to your face. You don't know what they say behind your back. But everyone I've met has been super lovely. There's just some people that you can tell won't really give you the time of day because you're not really worth their time, if you know what I mean. But that's it. I've never really had a bad encounter with any influences that have been really lovely. So yeah, that is everything. That's all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mukbang and Q&A. If you want me to film more of them, let me know because I'm definitely happy to do so because you know me. I love to eat. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you can see the rest of my videos and I will see you in my next one.